Speaker, and can I thank the Leader for announcing the almost comical business for next week. And <clears throat> we're still considering our whip for the draft novel food amendment motion that we'll be considering <laughs> as an important Tommy measure Bills, next Tommy week. Um, Mr Deputy Speaker, today is a, it's a bit like the morning after the night before with a collective what on earth happened last night? <laughs> <laughs> Members of the Speaking Cabinet it, failing to support the Government in a three-line whip against its own motion, <laughs> but still keeping their jobs. Mr Deputy Speaker, politically, the, the UK is now quite close to becoming a failed state, oh, with a yeah. <clears throat> Government barely able to function. And then there's today's Government motion and this woeful business statement. There's only one item of business that this government covets, and that's another crack at its dead deal. Today's motion is exclusively designed to allow that, with the vain hope that the threat of an extended delay will bring the Brexiteers back on board. How many times are they going to try and get this deal through? They're like vampires with an ability to survive a stake through the heart. <laughs> and I know that the Speaker will make a ruling on this. And I heard the, 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 um, the shadow, uh, shadow say this, and it's quite clear about bringing and a, a motion back. Now, Erskine May says on page 397, a motion or an amendment which is the same in substance as a question which has been decided during a session may not be brought forward again during that same session. Yeah. But that's exactly what this government is intending to do. The definition of insanity, and I'm sure you know this, Mr Deputy Speaker, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different re results. And this is a government that therefore should be certified. And <laughs> we also need to see the legislation that will honour last night's decision. Oh, the House has that. now voted three times to yeah, take no like deal it. off the table, but the House remains ignored. Uh, now, the government's right, the default position is to, to leave without a deal. That's what the legislation says. Sir. But what we have to do is bring legislation to honour and respect the wishes of the House. Yeah, if the yeah. government's not prepared to do it, let the House do it. Yeah. And Mr Deputy Speaker, this has been a disastrous week for the government. Again. They've been defeated on their deal. No deal has been taken off the table. And tonight there will be an extension to the March 29th departure date. Those of us who just despise this chaotic Brexit are beginning just to see this nightmare possibly beginning to slip away. But make no doubt, we are certain in Scotland, we are not going to go down with this doom ship. Yeah. Yeah.